Hello and welcome to a very special live episode of Backstage Buzz at the Mac. We are here at the beautiful Belushi Performance Hall at the College of DuPage in Glen Ellen, getting ready for the live New Philharmonic Orchestra concert from the Mac's annual summer seasons. While the musicians are warming up down there backstage, I was able to grab a special guest to share a sneak peek of what we can expect to hear tonight. It is the maestro himself, Kirk Muspratt. Hi, good evening, Diana. Good evening. So, Kirk, um, I'm, I'm so excited about your, your award. You are oh. the conductor of the year. Yeah, for the whole universe. <laughs> no, no, just for Illinois. Thank you. That's very. Don't it's, tell them that. No, no, it's, it's very humbling, and yet I'm very proud. And it reflects not, and I, I mean this, it doesn't reflect just my work. It's the orchestra, it's the management, it's the MAC, it's all of us. So thank you for the compliment. It's a big compliment coming from all my colleagues. Absolutely, because that award comes from all other orchestra conductors it's right. not just no yeah it's, yeah. it's no a, yeah. it's a big deal it is thank you thank you so Kirk I'm curious before a show if you weren't talking to me what would you be doing I'd be sitting there with that score right there studying it I mean you saw me just before we went on uh -huh. camera I was sitting studying right thinking about what went wrong in rehearsal how I can fix it um, the pace of the show things I want to revise that I think are too lumpy or too quick or not funny or things like that. So I'm studying until the minute I walk on stage. And what would be one of the highlights of tonight that, that everybody should watch out for? Um, besides conductor of the year, you mean? Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, well, that's interesting. Um, I was backstage for a minute with the crew and Laura said, Kirk, why did you put Ave Maria on the program? Right? Uh, and yet one of the ladies who was sitting here with her daughter who's going to play you know, she goes, oh my God, I'm so glad you played Ave Maria. And, and so what's the highlight for that lady? Maybe it's Ave Maria. I think, like Ben, our associate conductor, he was listening, he goes, E.T. is just out of this world. It's just out of this world. But I actually love the Rogers and Hart song, My Romance, from Jumbo. I love that song. I, it gives me goosebumps. This is what I love. You always put in the classic, but a little fun. You make it such a fun concert. And you also make your season fun. And I know you have a whole new season you're going to unveil un un uh, here. So can you share with everybody what you have coming up? Sure, I'll just quickly. In September uh, 29th and 30th, we're doing three shows on the weekend. It's called Showboat and Show Tunes. The first half is all, uh, second half is all Showboat. The first half is all the music of Rogers and Hart. So Broadway. Broadway, yes. Yeah. So whether it's My Funny Valentine or this, you know, this piece or a little boy blue, little girl blue, you know, those kinds of things. And they're gorgeous. It's a full chorus, four soloist orchestra. Next concert we're doing Beethoven Fourth Symphony, my my favorite Beethoven Symphony, and Richard Herschel from the Chicago Symphony is coming to play as our cello soloist. Then we have New Year's Eve, which is sold out and it should be a blast. And we're doing Fledermaus in January. The opera. The king of operettas, or I should say the king or the queen, depending on how you look at things today, right? Yes, we're doing Fledermaus. And then at the end of the season, we're having Winston Choi come back. He's the head of the piano department at Roosevelt. He's going to play the Sanson Second Piano Concerto. And we're going to do the Rachmaninoff Second Symphony. Yeah. <laughs> that is quite a season. Oh, thank you. So... I know you need to go back down and get ready, but everybody, this guy is a trooper. Kirk has just had foot surgery, and he has got his little cast on here. We are going to be rooting for you, and, okay. and thank you for being such a wonderful conductor thank you. and such a wonderful inspiration to everyone here at the MAC. Everybody loves Kirk. Oh, thank you. That's our new slogan, right? I need a raise then. I'm kidding. <laughs> thank you for having me, Diana. We love you, Kirk. Thank you. Well, break a leg. Have a wonderful show. Oh. <laughs> it's cool. It's funny. I, I didn't it's mean funny. that. Okay. I did not mean that. It's funny. It's funny. Be very careful going down the stairs. I will. Okay. Thanks so much. Thank Have you. Have fun. All right. We will. Thank you. Bye-bye. Kirk is always great at getting us excited for a concert, and we're so happy he's here with us. We will be right back with more Backstage Buzz, but stick around and look at what else the Mac has to offer.
The Mackinac Arts Center is DuPage County's home for entertainment and culture, featuring over 30 world-class international touring shows, from music to comedy to dance and family favorites. The Mac is also home of the Buffalo Theater Ensemble, professional theater company in residence, and the award-winning New Philharmonic Orchestra, a professional orchestra in residence. The Cleve Carney Art Gallery in the center holds the largest collection of contemporary art outside the city of Chicago and features free installations, openings, and artist talks throughout the year. Year. The MAC also supports two student galleries on campus. There is access for everyone with the free Lakeside Summer Series each summer, free international film series each winter, and free Friday at noon music presentations. And that's not all. The MAC is home to a robust education program with classes in all areas of the arts. With plenty of free parking, a full service bar, and upgraded VIP service, the MAC is your home for arts and entertainment. Uh, we started with some an Austrian polka, and we're going to end the first half with some movie music. Okay, mm, I don't know if I want, I'm not going to tell you the title again. Okay, I'll give you some hints, Gretchen. What are some hints I should give about the piece? Sorry. Oh, I didn't tell you. I was going to ask you. No, of course not. <laughs> Gretchen, it's okay. 
Uh, no, no, don't. I'm teasing you. I'm te and Debbie's going like this. Oh my gosh. So, okay, let's see. Uh, this composer wrote the music for um, Dirty Harry and Cool Hand Luke. Uh, you heard a little bit of it in the first half of the, uh, this piece, in the first half of the piece. And um, on July the 27th, it is going to be coming out in the movie theaters. And so, so it's very interesting, all the cell phones. Like, <laughs> don't look on your cell phone, just listen, you know? Now, to be fair to you, it is a rather understated and subtle piece, and you may not recognize it, but we'll talk about it later in the lobby, and I hope you had a nice first half.